What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zur is back. So we're back at the reef and uh, let's take a look at his inventory for the last week of July. So he's in this corner and uh, let's take a look at his gear. So going into the Titan we have the no backup plan gauntlet. It has full strength on it and increased the duration of force bear, increased melee attack speed and increased reload speed with special weapons. Kind of an average uh, exotic, so I'd go ahead and pass on it. Also, the stat row is kind of on the lower side as well. For the Hunter, we have the Knucklehead Radar. Grenade hits, restore melee energy, more super energy from non-guardian kills, and your radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. So, kind of an average exotic as well. I'd go ahead and pass for the other Hunter helmets or... Even some of the chess pieces for the Hunter is a better choice. And then for the Warlock, we have the Claws of Ahamkara Gauntlets. Gain an additional charge for all Warlock charge melees. Increase reload speed with special weapons and increase melee attack speed. Pretty average one as well. Um, I'd say this one is kind of useful in certain scenarios though. So if you want to try it out, it's pretty fun to use as well. Uh, gives you double melee, especially with Sunsinger and even Voidwalker. Warlock in general just has good melee attack, so yeah. And then for the weapon, we have the Suros Regime Exotic Auto Rifle. So, pretty cool um, auto rifle, one of the best ones in the game. Uh, I'd recommend actually picking this up just because after the new patch, auto rifles will be getting a buff once again. And maybe they might become a competitor in the meta once again. So this one is definitely one of the best auto rifles in the game. And uh, hopefully we can ascend it going into year two and be able to utilize it once again. Uh, the perks on this is the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage. And also when zoomed, this weapon fires slower and causes additional damage. So... Really good auto rifle, I'd recommend picking it up just because of that. And then finally we have the exotic engram of the week. It's the helmet engram. Uh, so if you guys want to get some of those House of Wolves ones, if you missed out on some of those weeks that he sold all the House of Wolves helmets, uh, you can go gamble for them with this. Um, I believe he didn't sell, the only thing he didn't sell is Bones of Yao. Uh, so hopefully he sells that pretty soon so all you guys can try it out. It's pretty fun. Um, it's not very useful in a lot of um, game modes, but I'd say it's really fun to utilize and try out. So yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.